in the last video i said small cap and mid cap are risk support zone but nifty is the confusion part to resolve it i use the intermarket divergence so for a very clearer picture see this hello everyone nifty analysis date 1st april 2023 so friday we have seen superb move in nifty and also across broader markets in my last video i have informed small caps and mid caps has almost reached the support zone i said the only confusion zone is nifty and this portion is here to clear this confusion part i have used the intermarket divergence so intermarket divergence is when we compare for example nifty with mid cap mid cap with small cap with nifty with bank nifty like any sectors we can compare with each other and if there is any divergence we call it as intermarket divergence so this chart taken on march 28th okay in the evening and i said if the nifty makes new low then this intermarket divergence may be resolved without working but this divergence to work nifty may move higher from here or with a double bottom since mid and small caps are in very good support zone so this is the idea in the last video i said small cap and mid cap are risk support zone but nifty is the confusion part to resolve it i use the intermarket divergence so for a very clearer picture see this so here see the nifty not make a new low but in mid cap it's a new low and small cap also made a new low this is called intermarket divergence so how this will resolve two ways nifty should follow the mid cap and smaller cap by making new low right or small caps and mid caps should follow nifty by moving higher this is exact phrase i said in my previous video and that is what happened last friday while analyzing the reversal point whatever techniques you are using now kindly add intermarket divergence also that will be an added advantage what we may expect nifty and broader markets in coming weeks okay so either it is a a 1 then this way the price should move so 5 3 and a 5 either it's a b c or 1 2 3 this is what we should look for one now so in this last move we should find five waves for this completion so 1 2 the entire move is 3 so possible 4 and 5 so in this way the price may move in coming weeks where we may expect the resistance in this move so to get this we should compare with this prior move i use fib numbers fib extension so this level the initial expectation is 100% the 100 percent has been crossed so here i could see 1 2 3 4 5 so this could be the internal waves of this larger three so now you can also see the price ends exactly at 1.236 levels okay so now we may expect a dip in four and we may go in fifth wave so we should be little cautious in this area so now in small cap the last video i have mentioned the support zone may come here see the exactly the price reversed from the support zone so what is happening now same like in nifty maybe the price is 1 2 and moving in 3 maybe 3 completed 4 and 5 so the mid caps also exactly got the support in these levels and price moving in 1 2 almost 3 completed maybe 4 and So this is what 
the initial expectation. Don't take it as any sort of recommendations. This is purely to understand the Elliott waves and how to apply in the charts. So thank you. Good luck in your trading. Bye.